Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna compare the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor along with the MacBook Air with the M1 processor. So let's get into the video really quickly. So firstly, we'll be starting off with the specifications. This model that we have is the MacBook Air M1, and it comes along with an eight core of CPU, seven cores of GPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, and two hundred and fifty-six gigabytes of storage. On the comparison, we have the MacBook Pro that is a base model variant. This is a 16-inch model. This comes along with a 10-core of CPU, 16 cores of GPU, 16 gigabytes of unified memory RAM, and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. So, guys, if we look at to the comparison for the specification in both of the machines, we can see that there is a complete difference of almost twice the amount of performance. This has got an 8 cores of CPU. This has got a 10 cores of CPU. If we have a look at the bifurcations for the CPU, it has got 4 cores for performance and 4 cores for efficiency. Rather, if you look into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor, we have got 10 cores where 8 cores are made for performance and 2 cores are for efficiency. So we can see that there's a comparison. There is an almost twice the efficiency for the CPU as well as if you have a look at the GPU so this is a base model variant coming up with 7 core of a GPU this has got 16 cores of a GPU so twice the performance if you're getting for the MacBook Pro with the 14 inch model there you can actually get a laptop where there's 14 cores for GPU acceleration and if you upgrade this up to the M1 Max processor you can get 32 cores for GPU so now let's get ahead and try to check the performance of both of the machines onto some synthetic benchmarks so firstly we have got Cinebench scores so for M1 we get 6592 whereas for the M1 Pro we get 12350 that is almost twice of the performance that we get in both of the machines so for Cinebench multi-core speeds are really good for the M1 Pro it's almost twice of what we get in the M1 processor and if we compare that with the Geekbench scores as well, we can see that in both of the processors, the single core speeds are almost same. For the M1, we have got 726, whereas for the M1 Pro, we have got 739. And if we have a look at your CPU multi-core, so there we can see the actually in difference. For the M1, it's around 7000, that's 7483, whereas for the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor, it's around 12000 there's a big difference so it's absolutely because we have got more number of cores for performance in the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor and getting more further to the gpu so when we try to test compute benchmarks for gpu for both of the machines so for metal we got 18160 in the m1 whereas for the m1 pro we got 38674 that's more than twice and the double and even if we go around with the GPU open seal so we can get an 15,993 that is an around 16,000 of scores for benchmark into the GPU for open seal whereas into the open seal for M1 Pro it's around 35,107 so that's 35,000 around we can say that in this also it's comparatively more than twice the amount of GPU performance so if you're getting for the GPU performance you can also see and there's in double the amount of efficiency into the m1 pro as well as for the cpu let's get further now so coming down to the ssd speeds in both of the machines so storage speeds has been significantly different and by the way we have made a complete review about the storage speeds in both of the machines if you want to have a look at that video the link is into the top right corner so the read and write speeds in the macbook air m1 for read speed it's around 2800 mbps whereas the write speed in this machine is around 2200 mbps if we compare that with the m1 pro so the ssds in the m1 pro are significantly faster and this what we get as the read speed that's around 5400 mbps and if we compare that to the write speed as well that's around 4600 mbps so that's just the double amount and fa of faster speed for reading and writing the data onto the storage so this machine has actually got a much more better advancement for the storage as well and that can be used for much more better performance and getting more further to the ram speed so the ram that we get into the macbook air m1 is an lptdr4x ram and that can provide you a maximum memory bandwidth of 68 gigabytes per second whereas the RAM that we have into the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor is an LPDDR5 RAM and that can provide you a maximum memory bandwidth of 200 gigabytes per second. 
and if you spec this up to an m1 max processor so you can get 400 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth so that's hugely hugely and great difference and provide you much more faster efficiency for ram performance as well and by the way we have tried to test both of the machines and the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor or with the m1 max processor works really well when compared to the ram performance because we can see that the difference into the memory bandwidth is a huge difference it's almost twice the difference of what we get into the macbook air and when comparing to the charging so let's compare the both machines for charging so for charging we get a 35 watts charging adapter into the macbook air m1 whereas onto the 16 inch models we get a 140 watts charging adapter and and by the way there is an incredible thing that can actually be provided into the new models of the macbook pro in 2021 is a fast charging so these new chargers are capable of providing you of fast charging the machine to 50 percent in just 30 minutes of time whereas the macbook air m1 takes around one hour to charge 250 percent and by the way these new adapters are compatible with usb c 3.1 power delivery compliant and even if we go ahead to the cables so in this we get a c2c type of a cable for charging whereas in the m1 pro you get an usb c to a max safe connecting cable and this cable allows you to fast charge your computer by the way you also have the ability to charge your machine using any of the usb c that is in thunderbolt 4 port but for fast charging specifically you need the max safe connector so let's get more further to the battery life of both of the machines so this machine onto normal usage for video playback and some little browsing around so we got an result of all around 10 to 10 to 11 hours on the macbook air m1 whereas for some video playbacks and some normal browsing we got around 18 to 19 hours of productivity on the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor by the way on this machine when we try to test this the screen brightness was around 70 to 80 percent so it was not at the full brightness we were not using it the full brightness just to test what it can actually provide us so it was around 70 percent we can say at one maximum period of time and but it provided us with a lot more better kind of productivity for the battery life getting to the weight now so the weight of the macbook air m1 is significantly very light this is just 1.29 kg to be exact and this is 2.1 kg so there is a difference into the weight obviously because this is a heavier machine it requires more power it has got more intensive machinery inside of it but it's not too heavy but yeah if you're considering a machine that can be of very light weight so this is what is meant for you let's get to the fan noise guys we all know that the macbook air m1 has got no fans inside of it and it is really silent and it suits the ultimate silent environment for you so you can be at any place and there can be just no fans noise around you and the macbook pro with the m1 pro comes along with a fan system so it has got some fans for cooling because it has got an intensive hardware that requires fan cooling but the fans in this are incredibly silent so you can't even know that if the fans are working or not so if you want to have a setup or if you want to get into an environment where you need a silent kind of an environment so this actually provides you that kind of a silent environment so before we go further there's an important note for all these users around our community onto the program so most of you aren't subscribed to our channel please hit that like button and subscribe button if you are interested in this kind of content we can see that there's only five percent of users who are subscribed to our channel so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get this kind of an useful content so let's get ahead now to the display comparison of both of the machines the display in the macbook air m1 is a great display this is a retina display of 13 inches and it provides you a maximum brightness of 400 nits whereas when we compare this display to the m1 pro this is extensively this is amazingly different because this display is in 16 inches of a display that is in liquid retina xdr display and it comes along with a pro motion technology that can serve you of a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz along with that it also has an 1000 nits sustained brightness and the peak brightness is of 1600 nits so that's a huge difference for the brightness of both of the displays and you will really feel the difference when you're actually working on both of the displays you can really feel that difference this is really clean this is really the refresh rates are really amazing you can get to see the differences in both of the laptops really quick 
and let's get to ahead with the webcams so in this we have got a notch display so there's a notch for the webcam and on this we do not have any notches but yeah the webcam that we get on this machine is an 720p facetime camera and on this that we get is a 1080p facetime camera so there is a twice amount of enhancement into the camera as well so you get a complete 1080p resolution facetime camera whereas when we compare the keyboards in both of the machines there is not a lot of difference into the keyboards on both of the machines but yeah uh, really the typing experience on the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor is good and better than com as compared to the macbook air m1 also the trackpads there's no no specific difference both of the trackpads are exactly the same same kind of an experience it has been just upgraded to a bigger size what we previously used to get into 16 inch macbooks but there's no specific difference into the trackpads trackpads are still same and they work really well one of the best trackpads that you can get anywhere onto the planet earth i think so and getting to the speakers absolutely there's a great difference into the speakers so speakers are louder onto the macbook pro as compared to the macbook air and also louder than the previous 16 inch or the 15 inch models i previously had a macbook pro 15 inch 2018 model so it's even louder than that i can say specifically that it's louder at least twice from the macbook air and 1.5 times than any of the macbook pros previously that we used to get and now getting to the more things like one of the best things that i consider for the upgrade between these two models is the hardware io support so in this we get just two thunderbolt 3 ports that can support charging and display connectivity by the way you can just connect one display to this machine that is the macbook air m1 and in this we get more number of ports so firstly we have got three thunderbolt 4 ports an advanced version of thunderbolt along with that we also have the sd card slot so that can allow you connecting and transferring files directly from an sd card whereas you need to use an sd card dongle in the macbook air m1 and if we come back to the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor we also have the hdmi port and a high impedance 3.5 mm jack and if we get to external monitor connectivity so the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor can support up to two external monitors connectivity and if you upgrade this to m1 max so you can get around four display connectivity so this was pretty much comparison of everything that we have in the macbook air m1 along with the macbook pro with the m1 pro processor and guys if we compare the performance absolutely there's gonna be a big performance and by the way we have tried to test both of the machines for extensive tests for all different softwares and we have made a complete playlist for that if you want to have a look at that so the link is into the top right corner you can click up there and have a look at to that playlist so you can get the complete comparison of for the performance for each different perspective and if in general purpose if i just try to review this like which is a better machine obviously this is faster almost twice faster in every little task like for example if you're trying to video render it's twice faster than the macbook air m1 if you're trying to do programming it's more better than the macbook air m1 but whether it should be considered as an upgrade or not now this completely lies upon you whether you need it or not because the price difference is also twice the macbook air m1 costs you around one thousand dollars whereas the 14 inch model of the new macbook pro costs you two thousand dollars and the 16 inch starts with and twenty five hundred dollars so there is a complete difference into the price perspective as well but this was the complete comparison between both of the machines and if you've got any more questions that you want me to answer so please leave that into the comment section down below we'll be happy to reply you and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye